alien parasite. Cyber technology. The Hi, ladies and gentlemen of the court. Today, we are going to talk about what is cybersecurity. Mm. Cybersecurity is not just a concept. It is a theory. Uh, the transition to a new system involves the implementation of software and storing a large amount of confidential customer data and internal company information. This raises the risk of cyber threats, such as hacker attacks, viruses, phishing, and other electronic threats that can penetrate the system and cause serious problems, including leakage of confidential information, data loss, and disruption of workflows. However, the use of cybersecurity in this case allows the company to yes, sir. information and systems from these threats. This may include using modern encryption methods, installing software and hardware to detect and prevent attacks, training staff on cybersecurity rules, and constantly updating protection against new types of threats. Can we focus on this? Because now this is happening. Download the virus. What the hell is that? What the hell is that? For example, the company may use special software solutions to monitor the network for suspicious activity that may indicate potential cyber attacks. In addition, authentication systems with two or more factors can be installed to protect access to confidential data. Thus, the use of cybersecurity in business helps protect the company from risks associated with cyber threats and ensures the security and reliability of its information systems. Practical use of cybersecurity. In our daily lives, we increasingly use the internet for communication, shopping, paying bills, and other needs. This is where protecting personal data becomes critical. In business, cybersecurity guarantees the protection of the confidentiality of business secrets and financial and customer data. It also ensures the reliability and continuity of business processes. And for government agencies, cybersecurity is an important component of national security. Leaving the theory behind, let's put this knowledge into practice. Loss of personal data due to information leakage can lead to identity theft or financial fraud, and hacker attacks on businesses can lead to serious data loss, reputational damage, and large financial losses. Even government agencies are not immune to cyber threats, which can have serious national security implications. So, dear friends, understanding cybersecurity and realizing its importance is becoming more and more important in a world where digital technologies are intertwined with all areas of our lives. It is not only our responsibility, but also a necessity to ensure security in the digital space. Even government agencies are not immune to cyber threats that can have serious consequences for national security. For example, attacks on electronic voting systems can undermine confidence in democratic processes and cause chaos in the country's political life. Also, the loss of sensitive information at government agencies can lead to the disclosure of important strategic plans or data related to the defense sector. For example, in 2016, the attack on the management systems of the Central Election Commission in the United States during the presidential election became a subject of discussion around the world due to suspicions of external interference. Such incidents demonstrate the need to strengthen cybersecurity in government agencies and develop appropriate strategies to prevent and respond to cyber attacks. However, even under normal circumstances, government agencies store a huge amount of sensitive data about their citizens, from medical information to financial data. Any unauthorized access to this data can cause serious problems, including identity theft and financial fraud. Therefore, it is important that government agencies not only be aware of the risks associated with cybersecurity, but also take proactive measures to prevent them. This can include regular software updates, security schools for staff, and strengthening network security by using modern encryption and authentication methods. In the digital era, where cyber threats are becoming increasingly sophisticated and widespread, protecting national infrastructure and confidential information is becoming a top priority. There's only through joint efforts and cybersecurity strategies can we ensure the security and stability of our society in the digital era. Where there are no borders in cyberspace and every cybersecurity incident can have global consequences. Consequences? What consequences? For example, the leakage of confidential information from one government agency can trigger a series of cyber attacks on other countries or international corporations. This can lead to large-scale security breaches, economic losses, and even political crises. 
Therefore, for government agencies, cybersecurity is not just a technical problem, but also a strategic national security task. They must be prepared not only to protect themselves from cyber attacks, but also to respond to them quickly and effectively. This includes developing contingency plans, cooperating with international partners, and continuously improving skills and defenses. However, government agencies should not be the only ones responsible for cybersecurity. Every individual, every company, every organization has a role to play in ensuring digital security. Implementation of cybersecurity best practices, ongoing staff training, and improvement of technical security measures are key elements in the fight against cyber threats. In summary, cybersecurity is an integral part of the modern world where technology penetrates all areas of our lives. It is the basis of our trust in digital technologies and the digital society as a whole. Therefore, it is important to pay attention to this problem and develop new and effective methods of protection against cyber threats. This is the only way to ensure security and stability in the digital world. True cybersecurity requires constant attention and continuous improvement. It is not only a reactive response to specific threats, but also a systematic approach to protecting information and systems in general. Modern cyberspace is constantly changing and threats are becoming more sophisticated and complex. Therefore, each of us must be advanced in our cybersecurity. This means that we must constantly update our knowledge and skills, use modern security technologies, and be vigilant and attentive online. It is important to understand that every action we take online can have consequences for our cybersecurity. So we must be prudent. In addition, cooperation and information sharing are important components of effective cybersecurity. Sharing knowledge about potential threats and how to prevent them helps all parties to be better prepared for possible attacks. The role of international cooperation in the fight against cybercrime is also important as many criminals operate outside our countries. So cybersecurity is a challenge that each of us faces. We are all responsible for our own online security. Uh, as well as for the security of our families, companies, and nations. The path to effective cybersecurity can be difficult and complex, but it is essential to ensuring the safety and stability of the digital world we enjoy today.